Bored in lockdown with nothing to do? Well, this video might just give you some ideas on some Harry Potter themed activities that you can do at home. So come on, let's check them out. Hello there Greggles, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, the Greg Who Lived, and wherever you are, I hope you're staying safe, very well, and you're ready for a bumper sized video full of lots of things that can keep you interested during lockdown. Before we begin, just a few little messages as always. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you can do at the end of this video for weekly Harry Potter themed videos with me, the Greg Who Live. I'll also be posting some of my older videos and some fun playlists to keep you entertained during lockdown. And second of all, what do you think of my shirt? This is a shirt that I have made during lockdown, actually finished it last week, and it's made from what in the sewing world are called fat quarters. And for those of you that watch my Audi haul, this was actually some of the fabric which I got from Audi, and I had it sitting around. I didn't know what to do with it, and so I made a shirt. And so hopefully you really like it, because I'm going to be wearing it for the rest of the video. But it fits me really well. I've learned a lot making it and it was really, really fun to make. So I hope you like it. And if you want to see more, comment below and there are possible tutorials or DIY videos I could do. Now, getting back to the video, and as you saw from the introduction, I've been sent some really interesting sort of activity packs, if you like for Harry Potter crafts, which would be perfect for keeping you entertained during lockdown, if you have to self-isolate, or if you just want some activities to get you through. These are all Harry Potter themed products, Harry Potter themed activities, and they're all from a company called Thunder Bay Press. Now they reached out to me on Instagram and said, did I want to show some of their products? And they have quite a wide range of new released Harry Potter products. So I chose three which i thought were the most interesting i thought they would be the most interesting for you to see some of them are going to be a challenge but i do love a challenge i love learning new skills and so hopefully with a few more weeks practice i can get started on these and show you what my outcome is but in this video we're just going to have a look quickly at each of the free products that i got sent have a little review of each one and then hopefully you can decide which ones are your favorite. Of course, as well, before I begin, this is a gifted video, so I did not pay any money for these products. However, the opinions as always are very much my own. So what are the three products? Well, first off, we have this Harry Potter Wizarding World embroidery kit, which looks very interesting. Second of all, we have this Harry Potter crochet kit, which is something I've never done before. So like I say, could be a new skill. And then the third product which I got sent was this Harry Potter hand lettering book, which is sort of like an activity book where you can learn all about fonts and things from the Harry Potter series and just improve your fonts and drawing skills in general. Let's begin with the one which I was most excited for. And that was the Harry Potter in embroidery kit. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you may have seen, particularly over the last couple of years, I really got into cosplay, sewing, and embroidery especially, because it's quite a calm activity, and you can create some brilliant iron-on patches. So that's what I kind of did last year. And so from the range, I saw that they had this, and I definitely wanted to give it a go, because even the example on the front looks fantastic. So, I chose this one as well because I thought it would make a really good little DIY video. Hopefully, some of the designs won't take too long, so I can film a little video for you and we can explore it a bit more in depth. But this is the packaging, and on the back, we can see that there are a lot of designs that you can also create from this pack. Although one thing I will say is even though on the packs it has all the characters, they only give you the materials to make a couple of them. So the actual designs, step-by-step -step instructions are in the box, but you might just have to buy a couple more colors of wool or fabric, that sort of thing. So like I say, this is the embroidery kit. 
10 magical projects inspired by the wizarding world. It includes everything you need to make two projects. There is a huge range of different projects on the back. I really like the different sort of styles that each one has. And we've got a little blurb at the bottom which reads, Welcome to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Inside you'll find everything you need to complete two projects. Harry's glasses, scarves and scar, and Hogwarts Castle. And instructions and iron-on transfer sheets for all ten projects, including iconic images such as Dobby the House Elf, the Sorting Hat, Hogwarts Crest, the Dark Mark, Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and Harry's Stag Patronus. Carefully designed by specialist hand embroiderer Deborah Wilding, the 10 fantastic designs inspired by the Harry Potter films are suitable for both beginners and experienced crafters. So I'm not going to open everything and show you all the details of this because I'm going to do a specific video for each product. But looking inside very quickly, we can see that it does come with some of the threads that you will need for the designs, embroidery ring on the inside, calico, which is the material that you use as the background. And we also have the transfer sheets here and a little instruction booklet at the back. A quick glance at the book. It does give you different tutorials on embroidery techniques. It shows you how to thread your needle, how to tie different knots. And then it also goes through each design individually as well, which is fantastic. And we've also got some images within the booklet from the Wizarding World of your favourite characters, favourite designs, and even something for all Hogwarts houses as well. So there we have it. There is the first product, which is the Harry Potter embroidery set. Next up, our second product from this review is the Harry Potter crochet kit. And crochet is something I have never tried before. I have never done knitting, crochet, anything like that. So I'm quite excited to try my hand at a new skill. Will it be any good? I'm not sure. That will either make a fantastic video where I will have the best outcomes or a hilarious video where Harry's going to end up looking like a beam. So we are going <laughs> to try this out and see what happens. But the kit itself Again, like the embroidery one, it gives you all the ingredients, instructions, everything you need to produce two other figures from a series. And those ones are the ones down here, which is Dobby and Harry. So definitely some fan favorites, but of course, lots of other characters that you can make from the pack as well. This is the front of the packet and on the back, it says, grab your crochet wand and craft some magic. Crochet 14 magical projects from the Harry Potter films. Stitch up Hermione with removable school robe and scarf, Professor McGonagall with the sorting hat, and even tiny adorable Hedwig the Owl. Harry Potter Crochet contains an illustrated instruction book that guides you step by step through each pattern along with materials to make Harry Potter and Dobby the house elf. Nine colours of yarn, embroidery thread, a crochet hook, shaped like Harry's wand, stuffing, plastic safety eyes, and a yarn needle. Use a crochet hook that looks like Harry's wand. Here are more of the characters that you can make. And in particular, I do quite like little Dumbledore down there, which takes on more of the Richard Harris look. And I really like Norbert. He looks awesome. Or Norberta, should I say. But really cool that you can take the cloaks off the characters and look, they even included Ginny, who hopefully is a bit more feisty than her film counterpart. And I also love the little sorting hat as well. I know roughly the sort of concept of crochet, but I just never ever got around to trying it. So this is going to be particularly fun. And if we open it up really quickly, we can see it does indeed come with the yarn you'll need in all the different colours just here. We've got the safety eyes at the bottom and some black thread. Here we've got the guide and then we've also got the crochet needle. Oh, we've lost some thread. <laughs> we've got the crochet needle just here in the shape of Harry's wand. The book is very small, which hopefully is very concise, but it has all the instructions of how to begin crochet, which is very exciting. 
I'll definitely be reading those about four or five times to understand. And the diagrams are perfect. Really good for a beginner, I think. And it's got all the details of how to add expressions. We then move on to the different characters that you can make. Hermione, there's Ron. They've got their school uniforms. Dobby, and we've even got Voldemort as well, who surprisingly does look quite happy and quite cheery there. Not too bad, but really interesting little product. And something I am really excited to try. Hopefully, like I said, things do go much better than I anticipate them going, but I think if it goes wrong or it goes right, it's still gonna make a brilliant video. Last, but definitely not least, is this Harry Potter hand lettering book. Step-by-step -step techniques to illustrate house alphabets, letter compositions, magic, and more. And this is by J. Rodder, or Rhoda, Rhoida, not entirely sure. I'm very sorry if I've said your name wrong, but that guy. <laughs> and it is just illustrated beautifully. It's a very large book, very heavy, very heavy duty. And there is so much in this book. But on the back, it looks like this. And it reads, Apparition, make stunning projects magically appear with Harry Potter hand lettering. Learn to letter your name. Design your own personal house crest and even create a Hogwarts Express ticket. Have you been sorted? Then bring your Hogwarts house to life with specially designed Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin inspired alphabets created exclusively for this book. Letter well-known film quotes. Learn to combine lettering and illustrations to create dynamic compositions and much more. Step-by-step -step instructions and plenty of practice pages will help you master the art of hand lettering. Alohomora, are you ready? Unlock the magic that awakes inside. I think from the off, you can tell that this is gonna be such a fun activity book for really learning different fonts, different ways of writing styles and how you can add some magic to any Harry Potter projects that you do and create. And even from the back, you can see all the different fonts that are contained in this book. And what I really love with this book is it starts out very, very simple and explains all about hand lettering. So we've got about the different components which make up a font, all the different sections, and it goes into really, really good detail. It's going to be like one of those books where you learn to draw. That's what this is all about. But it's themed on fonts, the way that fonts are created, and I think it was definitely something that I never had when I was much younger, but something I was always really interested in. And I think they've done a brilliant job at showing you quite simply how to begin and then how to really improve your skills to create a range of fonts. Again, like with the other books, we've got some imagery from the Wizarding World films, a lot of packaging designed by Mina Lima just here. And it's got a lot of practice pages as well. So it's not just something that you have to be really good at straight away. It's got clear examples, a lot of space for you to practice and try your hand at a range of different fonts. And what's really good as well is it covers a range of different styles, but also it covers all four Hogwarts houses as well. Flicking through, we can see that as well as just font styles and lettering, it does also have some drawing exercises as well more sort of symbols rather than anything too detailed. We've got different character names. We've got these little posters that you can kind of recreate. And as well, all the paper is dotted, which makes it a lot easier to copy and replicate things. Like I said, we've got all houses and here is Hufflepuff. And then right at the back, we've also got things like wands. We've got lots of different types of potions, a whole section on magical creatures, and even some bits about Quidditch as well a lot of practice pages at the back so it's really something that you can get stuck into and it's not like a lot of other books that I used to use when I was younger where it would give you all the instructions but not really any of the actual help that you need starting from the beginning and eventually getting really good at lettering whereas I think this book really covers it all it's all things from the wisdom world which we all love we all know 
And I think it's just a really interesting take on how you can recreate some of the iconic things from the Harry Potter series. Everything in this book is very, very different to anything that Mina Lima have created for the series. And I think this gives you much more of an independent look at how you can create some magical fonts from the wizarding world. And so there we have it. There is all three of the products that I was sent by Thunder Bay Press. And I wanna know which one was your favorite. You can let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, why not give this a big thumbs up as well. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some individual videos on each of these. You can see how I get on with crochet, how I get on with recreating Hogwarts from embroidery, and also me having a go at the hand lettering. As always, a huge thank you to Thunder Bay Press for sending me these products so that I could show you. And I cannot wait to get started. Which one should I start with? As well as letting me know your favorite one, why not tell me below which one you're most excited to see? And that's the one that I will film first. And with that, it brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe at the bottom just here. And you can also check out some of my other Harry Potter hauls in this playlist. Or why not take a look at the new Harry Potter ones in this video just here. I've been the Greg who lived and I'm telling you to stay safe, stay magical. All the best. Bye.